this print originally, the first layer, it was just these organic linear marks, the trace print. And it was, it was boring. So then I put on the layer of pink and then the red trace, trace print. And then over that, the brown with the parts wiped out. And I was left with this. Now let's say I want to use part of this in a collage. Well, I might have to. <laughs> I might have to tear it up. Sometimes it's not so easy to tear up a print. So then I'll start adding one piece to another. And that starts giving me thoughts about how the larger composition will come together. In this case, you can see that there's a white edge showing where there's a tear. And it might say, I don't want that white edge. So I have to go back with my scissors and cut off that white edge. Let's see if that looks better. See, now, when there's no white edge there, that brown shape starts sinking into that black shape. Mm. If that brown shape is sinking into that black shape, that's an opportunity to explore ideas of um, depth. So I might want to put a shape here that looks like it's not as close as this shape and not as far away as that contrast there. And so the narrative starts to build in the collage. As I'm building my collage, I'm using this low-tack painter's tape to hold the pieces together. So I have many, many pieces of painter's tape in my studio. I go through a lot of this stuff. There we go. We'll see if that'll be enough to hold it together. And when I have it held together like that, I can hang it up on the wall with magnets and see it from a distance. Once I have it all more or less together, I will take the pieces off, carefully marking each spot, like the corner, right under here, I'll mark the corner and the corner with a pencil. And those pencil marks are almost invisible. And then this will get glue all over the back and some glue on this surface. And line it up again. And boom, it's stuck. And I go, oh, it looks terrible. And I'm tearing it off again. And Oh, it looks terrible without it. Back it goes. So there is a lot of struggle in the process. Gradually, as the piece is coming together, I notice that I understand what it is or what it's about. In the case of that collage there, which is called How to Install a Statue, it took me a long time to realize that it was about my relationship with my mother, who has been staying with us. If you were here last night, you would have met her. And uh, I had a sister who died many years ago when she was 22. She died in a car wreck. And that, of course, brought a big shift to my relationship with my mother. So that picture has something to do with my relationship to my mother as it is now without my sister. But my sister is present. Her name was Yolanda, spelled with a Y. And all these maple keys or maple seeds falling from the sky are in the shape of letter Y. So you'll see them showing up 